Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO. Free, impartial advice on all your debt. Oscar Bevis for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. Delighted to be joined via Zoom by WBC lightweight world champion, Mr. Devin Haney. How are you, Devin? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. Even better for seeing yourself. Um, I just want to jump straight in because we haven't got too long to the previous weekend's event. Tifima Lopez clean swept Vasyl Lomachenko for the unified um, lightweight world titles. Can I just start by asking you whether you were more impressed with Tio or more shocked by the performance of Lomachenko? Uh, that's that's actually a really good question because I'm actually more shocked with what um what Loma didn't do. You know, I was surprised that um Loma didn't he waited to the seventh round to throw any punches. That was like surprising. And you know, I give all respect and all, you know, everything to Tia Female because at the end of the day he went in there and he got the win. But I feel like Loma beat himself in that fight. Loma didn't throw. You can't want to fight not not throwing punches. I don't think that I wouldn't say it was in his hands, but it was you know when the bell rings, it's it, it's in anyone's hands. But you know, it just it felt I felt like Tifimo gained momentum early from Loma not throwing punches. He just was gaining momentum, gaining momentum, and then when when Loma started to punch, then he gave Tifimo problems, and the whole world saw that. So it was like if he did if he did that in round whatever now the nine, 10, 11, all those rounds. Why didn't he do it early? Why didn't he start earlier? Is this something you'd be interested in seeing again? I mean, we've heard bits and bobs of talks of a rematch. I think Teofimo Lopez clearly won the fight, perhaps a little bit wider on the cards than we expected, but would you be interested in seeing that fight again? I mean, I could see why some people would say they would be interested in seeing the fight, you know, just to see if Loma made the adjustment, if he started early. You know, people would say what would have the what ifs in their head, but in reality, let's move forward. Let's make the real undisputed fight happen. Yeah, because it, from the media perspective, it, the take seems to be that we've seen an unbeatable force at one three five in T. Female Lopez. But I mean, I imagine you still see flaws even in a performance as good as last Saturday. Of course, you know, and uh, not only do I see flaws, you know, I want to test myself against you know the the best of the best in the in the division. You know, I want I want all the belts when it's when it's all said and done. So, um, that would be a fight. That would be the fight that would be for all the belts and you know everything. So why not want you know want to make the fight happen? I'm sure you've been asked this by everyone, but everyone wants to know. Um, you spoke on Facetime. Two young kings, two world champions. We we want to see that fight. We're gonna see that fight at some point. But um, yeah, can you give us a little insight into what was said and how that went down? Yeah, um, everyone keeps asking me like what was on Facetime, but you know I just leave that to 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 me to between me and him. You know we spoke like men. You know, and one of the main things I was doing was congratulating him. You know, because he did what I thought he couldn't. You know, at the end of the day, I didn't think that he would he would win. He won the fight. So you know, one of the main things I can say that I said was I was congratulating him, and we 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 had a a, a good brief conversation, and you know, uh, hopefully one day we can make the fight happen soon. Is it a positive sign for the sport as well? Because I know you've come out and said previously that Bob Arum isn't too keen on making inroads with you and your team. Um, yeah. But, you know, you're both young, you're both world champions. Do you have to make the inroads with each other? Do you have to make the effort to say, look, I'm going to speak towards Tiafimo, Tiafimo is going to speak towards me, and then we can get we can get shit done, basically? Um, I don't really know how, how much say Tiafimo has, you know, with Bob Arum. I don't know who really makes the, the, the calls if Tiafimo has the power to make the calls to, to choose who he wants to fight or whatever. Um, I know that I have that power to to do that, you know, with me being in a co-promotional deal, but I'm not sure, too sure on, on his situation. So, uh, yeah. Just one more thing on, on Lomachenko. Um, were you surprised on how he took the defeat? You know, just your thoughts on, in general, how he took it? Yeah, I think he should have just, you know, take his loss like he take his wins. You know, um, keep keep it moving. You know, don't make any excuses. And, you know, if you were injured, you were injured. I've seen Tifimo said something about everyone goes into a fight, you know, with things that hurt, injuries. That's just that's just part of the game. You know, everyone does it. It's no way that you – it's rare that you go into a fight 100%.
you know. So th- he's been in multiple training camps. He know, he's I'm sure it's not the first time that he's been hurt, uh, hurting or anything in training camp or anything like that. I think he fought uh, Linares and he was hurt. He got hurt like he, he hurt his shoulder in the second round. And he went in there to 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 stop him. So we you know you know it's not to be made. It's not to make any mis- any any excuses, which. I haven't heard him say it, but I heard his team have said it. I haven't heard anything from him, but, you know, th- that that's what I have to say about it. And obviously everyone's going to say, Devin Haney and Tifimo Lopez, you're not overlooking Gambo. I know you're going to tell me this, but does it show the pedestal that boxing fans put you on and show how highly they rate you that, you know, perhaps boxing fans are overlooking Gambo and they're saying, we want Devin Haney and Tifimo Lopez? Uh, yeah, and see, that, that's the thing. I feel like a lot of people are overlooking Gambo. And, but they seem to forget that, you know, Gamboa was, he just bought Javante Davis. And Javante Davis is, you know, rated high. People rate him high. And he was his toughest fight. He took him to, uh, to the 12th round. And it wasn't an easy fight. You know, he, 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 he hit tank with some shots and, uh, and he was injured in the fight. So you cannot, you know, um, underestimate Gamboa. You cannot sleep on Gamboa. And that's what a lot of fighters do is they sleep on Gamboa and he surprises them. Obviously, I suppose Javonta Davis's fight with Gamboa is going to be used as a measuring stick for yourself now as well? Um, Yeah, to a certain extent, yeah. Is that something that worries you? Is that something that excites you? Um, You know, it's, at the end of the day, um, it's another fight. You know, styles make fights. You know, so same thing that the success that Tank had with Gamboa doesn't mean that I'm going to have a, the same success. It may be a totally different fight. We just got to see when, when the fight breaks up. Is it statement time for yourself as well? You've made statements with big knockouts before and you've shown you can box as well. You know, I know he's not going to tell us what was said on the FaceTime, but Tiafimo said, you know, you're the two-time email champ. He's come for you, he's sent for you. And you saw the response and how well Tiafimo has been received. Are you sort of feeling a bit of anger, a bit of energy now to go and put a statement out and show, look, I'm here and I'm, I'm serious. Of course, of course. You know, every fight, you know, at this point is a statement, you know, because people are looking in and they're critiquing everything that, that, that I do. So I have to go in there and I have to, you know, give it my all every single time. But it's like, you know, you go in there and you and you look too good. they really going to duck me there. <laughs> Did the email champ stuff bother you at all? No, nah, he said he said it so many times that it really doesn't like. It really doesn't uh, bother me, you know. If anything, I should be making fun of him and his franchise belt because he petitioned to get a franchise belt. You petitioned to get a franchise belt. At first, he was talking shit about a fran- about the franchise belt, and then he went and petitioned to get a franchise belt. No, I mean it is you and T. Fimo Lopez that I know you're not going to tell me otherwise, but it's you and T. O. That's the undisputed fight. Oh, for sure. That's the real undisputed fight. And he knows that. And everyone else knows that. And that's why, you know, I'm I'm happy that the fans are 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 you know are are getting behind it and saying, wait, hold on. He don't have the real WBC belt. Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO. Free, impartial advice on all your debt.